Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking a body beat down here on this Friday afternoon. It's 2.17 p.m. already. My day has went by really quick because I slept through most of it. So this is going to be kind of a serious video touching on uh, ourselves and our limits that we put on ourselves and the limits that we let other people put on us. And it's just a, it's a kind of a thing I have typed out here and it's just kind of from the heart and how I feel about uh, a lot of these uh, comments that we get whenever we try to enjoy life and uh, push our limits and uh, reach goals and do other such things. So I kind of just titled it losing the battle, winning the battle, which one will you choose? So I'll try and read it out here as best I can. Uh, there isn't much that triggers me, but one thing does. It's when people put limits on themselves. To keep this simple, uh, to keep this topic simple, let's keep it centered around health and fitness and an active lifestyle. I've heard my share of people over the years say I'm too old, I'm too busy, I'm tired, I can't, my doctor told me not to, I've heard horror stories, and the list goes on and on. What comes to my mind is, what if all the greats in history used all those excuses? I wonder where they would have ended up. People like Michael Jordan, Bill Gates, Oprah Winfrey, Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, to world explorers, scientists, and so on. The list goes on and on, from the beginning of time until today and a thousand years from now. I wonder... I, uh, I wonder where you could be if you stopped putting limits on yourself. Truth is, giving up and sitting on the sideline is easy. Making excuses is easy. Letting others tell you to take it easy takes the pressure off of you and puts it on them. If anyone has excuses to sit around, it's me. From my back problems, to my shoulder problems, to my depression, everyday stress and struggles. I'm not anything that special. I just have drive when it comes to some things in my life. Now, I wasn't driven in school. I'm not as driven in my professional life uh, <laughs> as I wish I had been, so I'm not perfect. But when it comes to being able to challenge myself in other aspects, I'm there. I'm there for the challenge. I'm ready for the fight and to prove something to myself. I'm there to also prove something to others. When I was younger, it was to prove I'm faster, stronger. Not a pushover. In my older years, it's to prove to myself that I can do things I've always done and even better. It's proving that age isn't always the deciding factor, but our brains, our way of thinking, and what we let others tell us is nobody has the right to hold you back, including yourself. How horrible when you feel and disappointing will you be when at the end of your life, uh, you're full of regrets. Feeling a failure and all because you didn't run your own life. We all go from kids to adults to middle age and then golden years if we're lucky enough to live that long. Those years move quickly. Work, kids, wives, husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, adulting should never take precedence over your health and happiness in life. We all deserve health and happiness. We have to be the most important person in our lives. Sounds bad, huh? Well, if you aren't the most important person and taking care of yourself, then how are you able to take care of the people in your life? Everyone has 30 minutes to an hour to give yourself. If we all did that, I wonder how much better we could be. Could have been. Now, go and lift that light weight, that medium weight, that heavy weight. Go run that mile or walk it. Cycle, swim, play sports, go climb a mountain. Plant that garden, mow your yard, play with your kids, your grandkids, your significant others. And for crap's sake, don't let others or yourself put limits on living the best life possible. Yours truly, Michael, the body beat down, Thorn. That's just some thoughts that I have going on in my mind every time that I read comments from people uh, towards other people and towards myself and just comments in general about how people are putting limits on themselves and listening to others instead of listening to yourself and following your own, uh, your own path. And this goes for everything in life, not just 
physical activities and eating right and all this stuff. It's everything in life. Stop following what other people are telling you to do and stop following what you think is okay or what you should do. Think outside the box. Think for yourself. All right? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. All right? Get up, get out, get red, do a tent. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Have a good day. Get up, get out, get red, and do it, do it!